uh, it's been a very interesting debate and I and Mrs Parvanova have been are very happy that we've organised this debate because some issues have been raised with great clarity. I've been very surprised, however, by this sort of role play going on between industry, which evaluates risk, and those who manage risks. From industry, we've heard that studies have been done, they've been sent to EFSA, EFSA has approved and it's been then re-evaluated. EFSA says, no, we haven't re-evaluated the studies, but we're happy with the studies that we've received. We have no particular problems with those. DG Sanko says, since EFSA says there's no problem with the studies we've been given, then there must be no problem. I'm not a scientist myself, therefore I can't judge. But I am an MEP and I represent European citizens here. So I'm here to apply the precautionary principle. And I think if we applied it in this case, I understand enough of the elements here to be able to take regulatory measures. I understand. However, I don't think it's normal that there's no independent evaluation since the studies that have been made have been looked at here have been criticised. And also I don't understand that there aren't recommendations. I think there should be recommendations, at least for pregnant women, to, to say, well, there is some uncertainty there, that there are some doubts. Then whether or not they expose themselves to aspartame is, there, is it up to them. As uh, um, consumers, we've heard about uh, the information on labels, the information we have to have on diet drink labels. However, we don't know how much we have to eat or drink to get to these uh, recommended day ADI day daily levels on the labels. So the consumers don't have any information about the data we're talking about now. So we need to think about how we can conf inform consumers about the ADI and whether it's valid to set it at that rate. And we should also inform them that we do have some doubts in the case of pregnant women. I think the least we can do is to inform these people of the doubts that exist. I understand that we cannot take regulatory measures given the uh, doubts, but the we should apply the precautionary principle to inform people so that they know the doubts exist and can take measures.